hit the spot this morning. Good morning, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I want to talk about Shop Notes Magazine 114. Uh, every now and then I do a series. I've been trying to do a series on Shop Notes Magazines and some of the, the projects that you find in them. And the other day I was in a waiting room, just waiting to get in. And whenever I'm in that situation, I always have my computer with me or some magazines. I always take my own reading material to those places. And I shouldn't have to tell you why that is. But anyway, that's another story. <clears throat> but I was there and I read this. I was happy to be reading Shop Notes 114. And I saw an article in there for the first time. I swear I've read that, art, I've read that magazine a dozen times at least. And I don't remember ever seeing that before. But anyway, that's another story too. So anyway... I looked at that and there was a on page five magazine shop notes magazine 114 there was a some guy said in a tip about a trammel tool and what he did basically is he took a t-track made pieces for it one holding a pencil one holding a nail type of thing and he could adjust that adjust them along the t-track and he used it as a trammel well eight years ago or so I built this trammel and I've been using it uh, it's okay but it's, uh, I, I think it's a Matthias Wandel uh, design. It doesn't matter who's designed it, I, I, but it's been okay. But when I saw this, I got to thinking about it. And I decided that I can do better. So, if you remember back to some of my past videos, then you should be able to remember what this is. This is that double T-track. And if you remember back early on last year... I, I showed you a trick where I take in my bench dog holes and I add a couple of bench dogs here on a quarter inch bolt that I can turn and lock down anywhere I want. So I can take and drop this down into two bench dog holes and now I can use it as a fence. Uh, if you have an array of dog holes like my one workbench does, then I can take drop this one into one set of dog holes this way, this one this way, and I get a 90 degree corner to do assembly work and that sort of thing. So it's, they've been real handy. I also use them, I also use these as a um, uh, straight edge because they're nice and truly flat. If I take and put a bolt on it on here and use my two bench dogs, I can take the T-track then and drop it in this way and lock everything down with a wing with a nut on the bottom and this t-track then becomes part of the bench and I can actually use this t-track as a t-track and when I'm done I can take it off and put it back away so I don't have a permanently mounted t-track on my bench I have only bench dogs usually so uh, there's just so many uses that I use these particular double T-tracks with the ruler. It has a, a ruler here on them, so I can use the ruler. Let me show you this one. I can also use the ruler on it then as a ruler while I'm working on it. Being a flat, true surface, I actually use it for checking my work for flat. I have these out all the time. If I'm flattening a, wood, a piece of wood by hand, I have this there for sure. I can I use them as winding sticks. I can set them both up and then use them as winding sticks. I use them for that. So they're just very handy for so many different things. Well, guess what? Instead of using this single T-track like they did in the magazine, I took this T-track and I made my own pieces of trammel pieces like similar to what they made. And mine, I can take and put it onto my trammel and then I have marked this I have a mark on there lining up the pencil so I can line the pencil up to zero let's say and snug it down take the other one and then I just use the uh, sheetrock screw for the pointer and I can put this one in here and then I line this line up to whatever diameter or radius of my circle like for a 10 inch circle, I would put it on five and now I can quick and easily use it as a tremble to draw a 10 inch arc or a 10 inch circle. 
Uh, I have the longer ones. I have two. I, I bought three of these tracks, actually, is what I did. Uh, from Woodpeckers. Long time ago. Um, and I cut one of them in half. So I have two of these. And I have two of the longer ones that are 30 inches long. And I can take, most of the time I just use the shorter one, but if I need to go really long on making a trammel, I now can use this. So actually, um, it makes it even better than my old trammel, is that I can use either one for whatever length I need. So that actually opens up a whole new thing for me, multitasking. I did it again. So anyway, this has really worked out well. And now my T-Tracks, which I really do like, like I said, it uh, it has so many different uses. And I didn't even told you all of them. You'd have to go back and watch some of my other ones to see what else I've done with this. But I've done a lot of different things using these. They're just very handy. So it's a great multitasker. And now, guess what? It's also a trammel tool. So go check out that article about how to turn it into a, t into a trammel if you'd like. But I think that you've probably seen enough here. You could probably, if you think outside the box, you ought to be able to make your own. So I took advantage of it being able to be adjustable on the T-Track, and I take advantage of the fact that I have a ruler on it. That's what makes these work so well for this, this project. Anyway, I'm happy with it. I'm happy to have a new tool in the shop. I think I'll retire the old one and start using this one instead. Um, so anyway... I want to thank you for stopping by and, and look checking this out. If you have any comments about this or suggestions, leave them in the comments. I do read them all, answer most of them. Um, if you like this video, say so. But most importantly, though, come back again because we're nowhere near done. Thank you, and we'll see you again very soon.